Hi, this is Sergio. Welcome to this new video series where we're going to see how to build a full computer vision system completely from scratch. We're going to build a software that can identify defects on, for manufacturing companies on a production line where products are passing by. And the idea of this video series is that either if you're a developer, you can learn how to build such system following all the complexities, starting from the idea to the final deployable product. But also, if you are a business owner and you want such system, I'm going to put down below a link to subscribe for a waiting list so that whenever there is a better version ready, you can access that. I'm going, so I'm going to send an email whenever everything is ready. Along the way, I'm going to release an open source freemium version so that you can have access to the basic features. You can also learn along the way how to develop such features. Also with the pro version, if you're a business owner, that you can get access whenever it's ready. Why did I decide to build such system? The first one is because it's one of the most requested I get. So since in the past, I released a few videos similar to this one where I share some demos about how to identify defects on some specific products then this is very commonly requested by developers and companies and also in my community most of the members if not most big part of the members are building such systems so there is quite a lot of requests and there is not much material to be honest that goes beyond demos because what you see are mostly demos that can run on a few seconds and a few seconds of video you can do any type of magic but when you need to build a real AI vision system then that's where the challenges complexities and problems comes and talking on the perspective of what you can achieve with this the reason to build an automatic vision inspection system is that first one the manual inspection is very slow and inconsistent faulty products equals to lost money. I've read some research about what can happen with faulty products and with the manual inspection, you, when there is some high precision required for the inspection, like the percentage of mistakes done by a human, it's quite big, it's ranging from like 15 to 30%. And this is a huge cost for manufacturing companies. With AI vision, you can reduce waste, increase quality, and scale and the idea of this video right here is that i'm going to share the real journeys we start from some problem with an idea of a final product and along the journey for sure there might be some challenges changes and i want to to share these challenges so that you can connect more be aware of this and learn more from this experience the goal is to create a real vision system not just a demo so you see online a lot of demos and i'm one of the people that share demos online so i have something like 180 videos almost 100 percent of them are demos that are made to work in a few seconds and so on here we will talk about all the challenges of a real ai vision system that takes into account uh, how to handle the errors system that need to work not for one or a couple of minutes but for months so working like uh, 24 hours or eight hours per day on a production line, it needs to have a lot of things taken into account to work properly. So this is one of the, the, the things that we will discuss along the way this journey. And also you will learn the technical implementation, but also most important, the mindset behind a product development. Now, as a goal for this first video, I want to set a specific goal to reach, show the idea and also draw a diagram so that we can have clear steps to achieve these goals. And I want first to draw the idea because uh, from my experience when discussing about computer vision, about some specific projects, if there is no visual, uh, it's very hard to understand and there, may, there might be a lot of uh, misunderstanding. So always when also when some clients is telling me about some problem or like some potential client, I said like, can you please show some screenshots, some images, some videos so that we both know what we are talking about. Otherwise it's uh, just a lot of imagination that needs to cover up too much of the uh, missing parts. Since we don't have this system, there is nothing I can show about the system, but at least I can draw the idea. And from that, then we can set up a clear goal and 
move further with that from the next videos this is a very rough very simple drawing that i'm going to make so let's suppose that we have a conveyor belt this one is conveyor belt and on this conveyor belt there are there will be specific products that are passing on so these green are the products these product right here might have different defects somewhere around like this and we want to perform some quality inspection what do we have to do in this case in our system will be composed by at least this first version in this first idea of this system by one camera like this the camera will be looking at the products and this camera will be connected to a server and when the products are identified it could do either of these things uh, okay if it's okay okay not okay if it's not okay it will send also an alert and we can also add all the features of the case where you can save the image with the specific defect you can send an email you can add this to a crm system this will be details that we can see later let's say that this is the main visual of what we want to build that looks pretty simple from this perspective but then there will be of course a lot of challenges especially to make this as universal as possible and also to make it easy to use because there is a lot of work to make this system reliable and effective for different type of manufacturing because you have to adapt this to the product to the environment when this is working and so on so these things are all things that we need to take into consideration later since now we have this draft so that you can get the basic idea of this product we're now going to draw a very simple flow diagram where we can outline a few steps so that we know what's our direction to achieve our goal let's do that to have a clear view of what we're doing i like to make a diagram where I ha we have first the problem and the problem is that in the production system so in the production line we have products with defects and are not identified immediately so to simplify this let's say products with defects are not identified immediately this is a very specific clearly defined problem for this specifically defined problem we want also a very specific defined solution that we want to achieve so the more precise the better we don't want anything vague like uh, we want uh, the fact detection that it happens instead let's make this as specific as possible so a solution will be defective products are identified immediately an alert is sent this alert contains type of defects picture a specific label if there is a label let's say label and time this might not be perfect every company needs a different solution but it's already something very specific and it's a quite a solid base to later implement uh, different feature that might be necessary to such solution but it's already a good starting point so the idea is that we want to connect these two so from problem we want to get to the solution so problem we want to get to the solution now we need to make intermediate steps between these two what i like to do i like to start from the solution and going backwards to the problem this will allow us our mind to have less friction on what we are thinking so let's go a step beyond this one so if the final solution is the, the defective product identified immediately an alert is sent these alerts contain types of defects features uh, and so on so i will say uh, that there must be some imagine dashboard dashboard or api integration into a crm system where there might be some more details of such products so dashboard where we can see more information about the the product that are uh, that are passing on so dashboard with camera view api integration there might be some email system that sends this info this can be taken in many ways there might be a uh, dashboard where you see but also if you integrate some email the email can send all this alert to an email or just simply a plc setup connection so that stops everything if it needs to stop the conveyor and so on in order to have all this information that we have right here so this is 
a step close to the solution. If we have a dashboard, if we have API integration, if we have email system or PLC setup, it means that we already know what's happened. We have already the information that the, the products are either okay or either defective. This means that the step before this must be a database, database containing all the info about products with timestamp, uh, okay, not okay, and all the info that we need. Of course, now I'm keeping this one very, very basic because we want just a very simple to understand diagram without getting lost into details that we don't really know yet. So because we need to explore this more. I'm talking from the point of view that I know some of what some specific company wants, but I don't have a very big understanding of the system itself. So that's why I'm making this diagram not only to specify what's our direction, to specify what we know with these our assumptions and to later adjust this along the way. Database, what is before the database? Before the database, since we are saving the information, we need some system that the, that identifies and produces this information. And here we will have our AI vision system, AI vision system that detects the defects in real time. If we have an AI vision system, we what can be before the AI vision system? Before the AI vision system, I can imagine that there must be, so the AI vision system, let's make it, imagine this as a software on a server or on a computer and so on. I can imagine this, that this AI vision system to work needs at least some data. How is this data provided? This data will be provided by a camera. So there will be some camera set up in the production line. And then from this, if we have a camera set up, the camera must be looking at the products. I can say we can already connect to the to the problem. Let's now do this backward. I mean, like, let's start, do it in a normal way. So we have a problem. We have products with defects that are not identified immediately. We have a camera set up in the production line. We have an AI vision system that detects these defects in real time. These defects go to a database where we save all the information, timestamp, if the product is okay, we can save the image of the product. When we save this on a database for the user to use it, we have a dashboard that displays the the view of what the camera sees. It can display the, the mistake that was identified. This can be integrated with API to some system of the company if this is necessary. There can be an email system to send some notification. There, there might be a PLC setup connection to stop the conveyor if it's necessary to stop when uh, there are some problems. And then we get to the final solution where defective products are identified immediately, an alert is sent. Uh, this alert contains all the info that we need. Of course, here we need to change the arrow style. So since the our system needs to go this way, so of course, like the arrow direction must be different. And now we have the, the arrows in the right direction. So this is our system. I hope that you got a lot of valuable information and that everything is clear so far. If not, please leave me a comment asking some questions and so on, because since this is a series, I will take the feedback to improve that on the next videos. If you're a developer, if you are learning how to do this, you will get a huge benefit from this video series. If you are serious about building AI visual solutions, keep in mind that I also have a community where I have structured courses where you can learn from scratch computer vision and there is a community which will be a huge support for your computer vision journey. Whether you need help with a specific project or whether you just need support during your learning journey. If you want to integrate this system as a business owner, please, you can find below the link for the waiting list for this system and you will be notified when some beta release will be launched. This is all for now. See you in the next video.